All right, welcome everyone to a ZBrush quick tip. My name is Brandon Holt, and we are just gonna go ahead and jump right into this. Let's say you'd like to use polygroups to organize different parts of your model. As we can see right now, this model is only made up of one single polygroup, and that is shown by the, the color yellow. We can use a selection tool, either the selection rectangle or the selection lasso, to create a selection of our polygons and then turn that into a separate polygroup. We can use our selection tool by holding down Shift and Control. And you'll notice that the, by default, the selection rectangle shows up in the top left corner. If we click on the selection rectangle and then select our select lasso, uh, this will give us a little bit more um, flexibility when we go to create our own um, selection. Now, I want to isolate this um, the two front legs uh, and turn them into a separate polygroup. I'm going to hold down shift and control and make a selection of the front leg here. And you'll notice that I have symmetry turned on, so I have selected both the right and left front leg. And now I would like to remove part of the chest here. I can do that by holding down shift, control, and option. And now we just have the legs selected. Um, I would like to group um, the parts of the mesh that are visible. I'm going to go over to our polygroups subpalette on the right. I'm going to click that and um, select group visible. And now you'll see that we have a purple polygroup for the front legs. And I can just do shift and control and click out in the open to bring back the rest of our mesh to show that we have two separate polygroups here. And if we um, zoom in and we kind of analyze our selection a little closer, we'll see that it's kind of jagged and um, it's not really that, uh, you know, organized um, as much as we'd like. So um, what you can do is um, you can smooth out the transition between these two polygroups. And by default, if you hold down shift, the smooth brush will be activated. And if we just go around and try to smooth around the area a little bit, you notice that it's just smoothing the topology. It's not really affecting the polygroup so much. Um, there's a little secret that is called the smooth groups brush, and that's located within the light box. So I'm going to go back a little bit to um, just kind of back up from where I started. And I'm going to go into our light box. I'm going to select our brushes in the top menu here. I'm going to go over to our smooth brushes, double click, and I'm going to locate the smooth groups brush. And now um, every time I hold shift, the smooth groups brush is going to be activated instead of our regular smooth brush. And we can change that by going up into our brush options here and just selecting our smooth brush. And that will um, bring it back up by default. But what's great about this, our smooth groups brush, is we can just go around the border of our polygroups and smooth out that transition. And this is a really handy tool for when we go to um, use something like Z Remesher later and we, we keep our groups and it will also create a nice um, uh, a little loop there and we'll um, keep our topology looking really nice well, that's all I have for you today. Um, thank you for watching.